And welcome, survivors, to episode 8 of Fortress Craft. So it's nice being able to get back to this game. Uh, I've played it here in between doing other things. AFK the bit, let some, uh, let some resources build up. I did some work here and there. I started, uh, as you can see, a lot of renovation. I've got a lot of renovation done. I've started my nice flat area out here. As you can see, everything's nice and nice and flat and easy to work with. If I need to build anything underneath my platform, it's easy. I just pull out the glass, dig underneath, replace the glass, and then you can actually see everything underneath it. Now, all my resources are coming in uh, through these uh, through these conveyor belts, and as you can see. I do have four forges. Uh, this one, actually, I don't think it's running at full capacity right now. No, it, it's heating. Um, this system right now is incredibly inefficient. What I need to do because, uh, like, they keep having to heat up. There's, there's not enough materials, not quickly enough. So, what I have, um, to explain this a wee bit better here. What I have is two self-engines. So this basically extracts the ore, pushes it, brings it up here, puts the coal ore into here to a motor which generates energy to generate the, um, the coal or the ore extractor. So it's like a circle there. And then the extra energy is sent off to wherever I need it, either through the glass floor or to here. What are, This is over here is I, I needed to make some research pods. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, I had to temporarily power this up. That's why it looks all goofy. Uh, this up here, oh, okay, don't like that. This up here, this is where I randomly make whatever supplies I need. If I need plates or anything else, like, yeah. Plates, wires, coils, and or PCBs. All I have to do is kind of rearrange the... Uh, ro rotate these to be in the appropriate way I want. Like last I was making was plates, so I just did it right straight through. And they all end up in here. But I gotta move this eventually because this is way up in the air now. This used to be on level ground, but I've dug quite a bit out. And uh, it actually turns out that they... It, I, I like this change, how they change the construction paste. You turn garbage into construction paste, which then makes glass, because before you used to have to use iron... Um, I'm going to fill this up, actually, with garbage now that I'm at it. I used to have to fill it up with um, iron. Or iron plates. I think it was iron plate. Yeah, it was iron plating that you used to have to make glass with. Now, it's much easier to make glass. I mean, it doesn't make you as much. Like, iron plates used to make you glass for days. But it's nice having a, a reason for that junk, because the junk used to just take up your inventory. So, I have my la uh, laboratory going here. I'm actually just researching some... Uh, I found out what to do with these research parts. These here, uh, the ones that you get from those crashed ships that you find around. Uh, you put them into a, uh, a storage hopper, which is attached to your laboratory. Uh, and then you switch mode over to analyze instead of research. And then what it does is it analyzes these research points. And then apparently you get research points from it. I'm not sure how many yet because it's still working on one. It does take a long time and it takes a lot of power. This station over here has two generators going. And that's why this here is lacking really a lot of power right now. So this, this isn't producing this engine here. But that's okay because I really want to see how much research points I get. If it comes to anything, I'll just turn this off. But I did research upgraded um, upgraded parts. Uh, so what I need to do is go build uh, some new motors for our... Let's see here. The basic drill motors. I should have a better motor now. Did I not... Did I not research it? I was pretty sure I researched it. Oh, maybe I have to research it again. I hope not. That would really suck. Oh, here we are. Enhanced drill motor. Oh, thank God. Okay. I have one research point and it costs one to research. Yes, that's right. You have to research it at the laboratory and then activate it in the research station. So many steps. Okay, cool. So let's go and upgrade our, um, our old drill motors here because these are garbage and they're not actually producing fast enough anymore. Uh, how do I get these out of my inventory? I forget. I think I just click on them. Click them over. Yeah, click and drag. There we go. So I got that one, and there's one over here that I need to that I need to replace. But I need one of these to upgrade them. So let's uh, let's go down into this short little channel here. I'm gonna open this up. 
drag the basic drill motor over to my inventory. Yeah, like they need to come out of here a lot. Ooh, you know what? I need to do some upgrading. Look at these. These are the old... Ugh. So I'm going to have to upgrade power, I think. And at the same time, I'm going to have to upgrade these these conveyor belts. This is the old slow-ass conveyor belts. Are they all like this? I hope not. I definitely, definitely hope not. Let's do some leaves to get up. Oh, look at that. This is garbage. Okay, I definitely have some upgrading to do. They're upgraded from here. Because uh, this is the expansion. This is how I cut into it. All of this used to come to the back of this unit. If you guys remember from the older episodes, how they went into here. Uh, so this will remain on its own podium one day. Uh, this will all get ripped out of here because this is just like temporary crap. My ore extractor will get ripped out of here as well too and brought down to the lower uh, portion. This here will be hooked up to a junk extractor. So I'll have this hooked up to a junk extractor so that way I can just hop into the machine, let it empty out all the junk in my inventory, and then turn it automatically into construction paste for me. So that'll be extremely useful. But I'm really excited to see what this laboratory has to offer, which is nothing at the moment. Wow. Okay. So how many? If I go to F1, which is my original... Okay. So I'm going to need some conveyor belts. And we're going to need to upgrade these two motors. So one, two, there we go. And I'm definitely going to need some more conveyor belts. I, I don't... The conveyor belt upgrading is a pain in the ass. You can actually... Um, cool. You can actually upgrade, get machines that will upgrade your conveyor belts automatically for you. It starts out with the end of one line and goes to the end of the other. It's actually really, really cool. Uh, but I don't have the technology or the time to make that, so it's it's not going to happen. Uh, wow, look at this. Just a couple of these just left around still. Still not upgraded. Let's, let's fix that up too. Guys, we're about to pull a bunch of copper out of this thing here. So we should be running at full tilt here pretty soon. Uh, let's get enhanced drill motor. So this is twice the speed of the other drill motor, 16 times the speed of the standard motor that's in it. So this thing should start pumping out coal here now, or coal, um, copper. Cool. Now next challenge we got is to upgrade this sucker. Oh yeah, and I got, um, I was going to say linoleum, lithium fully automated. Lithium is good to go. It's all protected. Uh, you know, no more, no more things eating my lithium on the way up. So lithium is good to go. We have it auto-forging as well, so we are good to go on the lithium. Uh, the next steps now are... Oh my god, I forget what the next ones are. I'm gonna have to look them up. But they're really cool. They're blue and they're green, and then you get to gold and stuff too. But we have to go deeper. We have to go way, way deeper. Um, I think there was a way actually to build to me on these things. I think I saw it, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to check up on that. Yeah, because upgrading is incredibly slow. Oh, and we ran out. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a buttload more of these, I think. Did I done it wrong? Oh, how did I manage that? I think there's one missing from down there too. Okay, let's get this fixed up here. I uh, probably should be using that way better uh, I should probably be using this way. This one's way faster, and I can use a force induction on it. But screw it, I'm starting my auto forge area over there. All right, let's let's get this uh, let's get this show on the road here again. I only made two. I thought I made a. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed shift instead of control. That's what I did. Okay, 45. That should do us for now. Let's go to the debug menu. Get this show fixed back up. Because I definitely want to get this material moving faster. It's uh, the the thing with the the forges is is it takes a lot of power and time to heat them up. But once you get them going, it doesn't take nearly as much power or time to forge anything. So what you want to do is you actually want to keep once you get those forges powered up, you want to keep them powered up. It's kind of like how our power or our plant runs, right? It's it, you got your uh, startup cost and your startup time. It all costs you time and and. And while in this case the money would be the coal, I guess, but time and resources, that's how that's how we'll say that one. <laughs> I love it, it just takes off. Slow, 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 and gone. Alright, so we should only have a few more of these stupid things to upgrade. And we'll get the better motor in there. And then what I can do is because I have two resources going into one right now, I have this, tin, and copper, 
going into the same one, and it still can't run full tilt with, with just the two running with the, um, the others. So I'm going to see how the one runs with two upgraded motors in it, and see if that runs any better. Okay, cool. Eventually, too, these resources, I'll stop taking them from the surface, and I'll start taking them from the cavity that's down below. I just got to upgrade that auto forge system, and, and uh, the, the whole... Well, <laughs> there's so much going on right now, too. I have to explain to you a little bit more here. Okay, cool. So, motor's upgraded. This is all upgraded. We are good to get out of this hole. Let's lasso our way out. Okay, awesome. Shortcut our way through, and it's becoming nighttime. It's starting to get dark. <laughs> uh, let's go over here. So what I've started is I've started my quarry project. I'm gonna. This will take time to warm up, so I can't quite. It's moving at a quick pace, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Like, look at the copper. The copper is moving along really well. Cool. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Okay. Now, I'm going to also wait till the tin is warmed up, too. It'll take a little while for the tin to get going full blast at the same rate the copper is. Uh, hopefully, we have enough power. Hopefully, I won't have to upgrade the power, but we'll, we'll find out. It'll tell me if I, I need to do that. Uh, what you see here... Uh, if we back up a bit. See these four white pillars of light coming out of the ground? Apparently you can only see them at a certain angle. But those are where I am actually have an auto excavator going. What a machine is doing right now is it's blasting its way through a... I believe that's a 3x3 a three three space. One, two, three. A 3x3 three three space, so nine blocks from where I have the lithium. And it'll go straight up, right up, until it reaches max build height. And it'll just remove any block that's not an ore from that area. So this takes a while, and it does take power. So I had to root some power down there and uh, definitely increase my power intake to the bottom areas. As you can see, I definitely have a lot more gizmos and, and crap running down there. But yeah, uh, once these forges getting r run more efficient as well... Okay, yeah, see, like, the ore is filling up fast enough that it's not cooling down and it doesn't have to re reheat back up before it starts doing more ore again. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that's perfect. That's what you want to see is just a constant. It, it needs to go constant. You don't want it cooling off at all. Because now this will only take slightly more power, which will allow this one to warm up and go. Which will allow this one to warm up and go. And this one, like, looks like it's on constant heating. Um, it doesn't look like it's being very efficient. Do we have any ore in there? Yeah, no, this one's on constant heating. It's not even doing ore. Uh, are we done on our laboratory research? I'm just uh, uh, What? Is it going backwards? I don't even know which way this thing is going. Did it take one out? No, it still hasn't finished one yet. Wow, okay. It starts up here and goes around this way. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's going to take a while. But that's okay, because I'm not in a rush for or, uh, for lithium or iron at the moment so that's okay because if you see iron has its own forge but i have it going into here it's sharing lithium's forge and copper should have its own forge too going up to there but i won't power them until i know they're running like full tilt 100 percent and we're running at full efficiency because then we're just wasting power i kind of got a little bit ahead of myself here uh building this auto forge area but It'll last a while. It'll last me until I get into like stronger forges and and everything else. So that that's good. Uh, now a lot of what the work is to do is to actually start my quarry. Uh, so what we're gonna do is actually we'll go down. We're gonna check this out. I'll probably kill myself doing it. Uh, but we're gonna go down and we're gonna check out what that quarry machine is doing while we're making other stuff and doing things. Okay, awesome. Engines are going. Laboratories are going. Forges are going. Okay, making lots of copper, lots of tin, we've upgraded that shit. Oh, you know what I need to do? If I'm going down there, if I'm going down to the iron and lithium, I should upgrade the motors anyways. So I'm gonna, um, I'll have a couple of spare motors kicking around, but that's not a big deal. Let's make up these motors, because uh, less trips are better. Because I don't really have an easy way up and down right now. I don't have, um, I don't have elevators yet. So I can't make elevators. Okay, cool. So we have a couple upgraded motors, so we won't be wasting our time entirely. All right. So let's uh, let's give her. Whoops. I meant 
to press F, but I was pressing D instead. That's not what I wanted to do. Because F will save my life. Will save my F in life. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. Okay, awesome. Now, oh, awesome. So this is much easier to get to the um, iron ore out of storage. Wow. It's not moving stuff out of there fast enough? Oh, that's right, because it's not moving. That is that is a problem. Okay, I've, I've upgraded the motor. But this is part of the shaft here. Uh, I guess I can press L for light. Uh, as you can see, there's stuff falling. Like, you can see the random... Um, random stuff falling. What is underneath me, we can't see it right now because there's ore in the way, but it takes out, like I said, every single block that's not ore, it takes that out. So as you're seeing, it's actually getting really close to the surface. It should break through the surface quick enough here. Uh, let's go down. I'll go down to the lithium because I need to upgrade that motor anyways. And we'll, we'll check that out. I hope this noise isn't too loud. It seems a little overbearing. I don't know what they changed, but Oh yeah, we can check it out too. See, this is how I've protected my uh, my lithium from getting eaten up by those stupid, stupid, stupid little things. I forget what they're called. But yeah, so every few blocks, like I've placed these, I think the range is 16, so you can place them up to 32 across. Uh, it's I'm almost dying, so I'm gonna get down here. You guys gotta get the point how I did that. I, I just kinda... Oh no, I hope... Oh wait, you know what? I have these, okay. This might save me for a few seconds here. Okay, I can suck power out of these things, that's okay. Okay. These don't look like they're banking power, so I actually may have to get some more power going down this way. I'm starting to think. Yeah, because that's just like, just barely keeping me alive. <laughs> or that thing just got fun done firing a whole ton of stuff at stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna use that because that'll keep me alive for a few more seconds. This is what this sucker looks like. So, what you do is you dig a little hole, you place this in the middle of a 3x3 three three space, and it slowly digs its way up. Now, it'll dig... <laughs> I actually want to die because it's, it's quicker to get up, but here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit of power in here. Uh... Okay, awesome. So what this thing does is it literally just digs straight up. There's two versions of this. There's a version that'll burn right through the ore as well. And there's a version that'll leave the ore. This is one that leaves the ore. So we won't be able to ever see straight up. Like we can get up there pretty far. Uh, wow, do you ever freeze so fast down here? And then, yeah. So what I'm gonna do, once it breaks the surface, is I'm gonna go one, two, right there, and place it right there, and then do another one right beside it. And just keep doing it until I have a massive quarry going. And then I'll have a big void area that I can actually go and make a whole bunch of machinery and have the ore poking out by itself so that you can actually see all the ore and not have all the land in the way. So I'm actually hoping we can get up to the ore here and the fall will kill me. And that's where we'll end uh, today's episode. Yeah, because as you see, it doesn't go through this ore up here. So it'll leave all the ore open and exposed and then I can feel free to grab it all. And I have fall to my death. Nice. Alright, cool guys. I want to say, thanks for all your support. Thanks for checking out these episodes. I know a lot of you aren't into this game, but this game is super cool. I love playing it. And I, lo I love bringing content. I love playing to my channel. So that's what it's all about. And as usual, guys, always back up your game saves. Stay classy. And I'll see you in the next episode of whatever it may be. Peace.